What is up guys, White Lighting HWD here, and we are officially back on the push. We were off for a week, I took a week break, went to Chicago. If you guys follow my social media, you'll know that, but we're back. I have not attacked in exactly nine, holy shit, nine days and 24 minutes. It has been over a week since our last attack, and I got a 3% loss, which is horrible. So uh, we're going to have to go out and do some attacks today with the most overpowered strategy in the game. Uh, what I could think of, because if, if you put, like, okay, the two most overpowered strategies right now are Max Valkyries, because they've always been crazy. Well, not always, but recently they've been crazy. And then the Bowler Healer strategy are the two most used and most overpowered strategies, and the most powerful strategies, especially, like, up at the top ranks. So we combine the two. We got 12 Valkyries, 10 Bowlers, and 6 Healers, and then we're going to go out and see what we can do with that, because if you combine the two most overpowered strategies in the game... It must make the most overpowered strategy, and that's what we're going for, and then we're going to go and attack, and uh, we need to raise some trophies, because we did get all the way to 2003 defense only, but again, we have not attacked for nine days, and we need to get back out there, and then get back up to the Legends League, because I missed my purple badge. So, without further ado, let us resume the push to 5,000. Alright, we found attack number one against Kiza here, Kiza! And uh, this base is full of loot for 30 trophies, and I couldn't ask for a better attack. And now we're going to have to see how this is going to work with the strategy because I've, I've never used it before. Um, and I'm going to have to funnel somehow and... and oh, I, don't, I don't know what I'm doing here. Okay, this is what we're going to do. We're going to try this. Okay, I'm going to get one, two, three Valkyries right there, one, two, three Valkyries right there. And then hopefully what we can do with that is create a little bit of a funnel. And then I'm going to drop two jump spells. You feel it? Okay, two jump spells in. Then let's get the bowlers in. Let's get those Valks in. Let's get the healers in. King, Queen, Grand Warden. And now let's move and go into the base. We got a raid spell going down right there. That's going to... Oh, shit. We got a raid spell going down right there. I, I meant to put it down. It didn't go down. Okay. Raid spell in on the Valkyries. Moving through the center. I should have used that second jump spell in the center of the base to get them out of the center. But I'm dumb. And I did not do that. So that's unfortunate. But I think we're going to be all right. Uh, I'll throw another Rage Spell right there for the Valkyries and on the King, and then, yeah, we're going to keep on moving. We're doing good. We're doing pretty good. Unfortunately, a lot of our healers are getting absolutely annihilated right now, but I think that's okay because we're not... It's, it's, not, it's, it's not that serious. We're, we're going to survive this. Okay, let's throw a Heal Spell down right there. Help those Valkyries out. Use the King, Queen's uh, uh, Grand... What? King, Queen's Ability? I forgot how to commentate. It's been a week, guys. I'm sorry. And then we're going to use... Oh, shit. Oh, it's one of these guys. Hey, I invented this shit. I invented Trap... I didn't invent it, but I made this popular. A lot of my videos, if you guys look back on my channel, a lot of my videos are just trapping the shit out of my town hall like that. I have a lot of troll videos like that back in the day. That was funny. I did invent it, though. I take back claiming inventing it. But... Despite all that, this raid is definitely coming to an end right here. We have destroyed everybody. and All the buildings, everything's gone. All the Lutars. And then the 100% is right. Boom, there we go. Okay, so first attack with this strategy is 100%. Obviously, his base was abandoned. It wasn't a super impressive attack. But hey, 30 trophies in a ton of loot. So there's no complaining here. Cut the crap. That's a win. All right, well, we got an interesting base here. And Okay, you can't pass these bases up when you see them. I'd love to pass it up. I can't do it. And the reason is because we have an enormous wall up here, and we're just going to jump spell it, and we're going to have our troops just freaking fly over this. And it's going to be very amusing to watch. So we're going to put a jump spell right here, and then a jump spell right there, and then hopefully you could cover... Yeah, I could cover the whole thing. Okay, now watch this. Ready? We're going to have some flying freaking Valkyries. We're going to do two lines right there, and then here they go. Whee! That's the noise they make when they fly, by the way. Okay, so the Valkyries are in. Let's get the bowlers going. Also flying, and the healers obviously are going to fly because it's kind of what they do. Um, and then I'll get the uh, heal spell. Oh, shit. Heal spell needs to go in. We need a rage spell in right there. We need the king, queen. We need the warden. We need everything in right now. Awesome. And then they're flying as well. Look at the king. He's just he's soaring. And then the warden. Warden's just going to float over that bitch. And then there we go. Awesome. Okay, so we got all the things in. All the troops in. Not the things. All the troops in. We'll use the warden's special ability. I'm going to drop the skeleton spell down at the bottom there. King, queen's abilities. <laughs> and then we're going to mop through this base. So that's uh, it's it's going to obviously be an easy three star. This wasn't like a challenging raid even a little bit for this strategy. I just kind of wanted to see everything fly over the walls. And, and that's it. That's all I want. I just wanted to see things fly. So, we have the uh, troops cleaning up the rest of the stuff. And then this will be like an easy one and a half minute, two minute, three star. Wasn't a ton of loot. The loot was not great in this raid, but it was still decent. And it was still amusing. And that's my mom right there just kind of walking through the screen. What's up, mom? How you doing? Mom, out of 15, how would you rate this attack that I just did? She gave me a 15. That's that's impressive. So, hopefully you guys think it's a 15 too because... Oh, there's a three star. Oh, three star mom. I kicked his arse. Arse is ass in English. Okay, so that was the three-star second of the video. <laughs> okay, here's a more challenging-looking base. Uh, he's got, like, level 10 walls or level 11, level 10 walls, uh, although all of his defenses are dead, and he has a ton of loot all on the outside. Uh, 31 cups. I, it's, it's just, again, it's one of these bases that, like, I kind of have to attack just because it's perfect. 
and uh, we're gonna go from the bottom. So let's do again the one, two, three, one, two, three Valkyries like that, and then we're gonna do a jump spell right there on that junction. And then we're going to get the rest of the Valkyries coming in right there. Let's get the bowlers going in with the healers spread in there. Then King, Queen, Grand Warden. And then now let us move into this base. All right, so we're going in right at the middle right there. Let's drop the uh, Rage Spell and another Jump Spell right there. Actually, it's going to open up like 17,000 compartments exactly. And then we're going to get right into the middle. Now, of course, our bowlers are going to path left and right because they never go down the fucking middle. Uh, just because I suck at pathing and I'm just unlucky. Uh, but the Valkyries and the King actually went in the middle, so that's perfect. And then our Queen and Grand Warden, they're kind of going to do their own thing. Um, which sucks, but it's whatever. So there's a heal spell down right there on the Valkyries. And then we're going to do okay. So I'll use all the Queen, King, and Grand Warden's abilities. Because we pretty much don't need them at this point of the raid. Because all the defenses are dead. And then we have, again, plowed through a base without even a little bit of a problem. We're going to have to try next raid. I think next raid we're going to try to actually like attack like a live base. An actually challenging base. Um, and see how this strategy stacks up against like a real defensive base. Uh, because these, <laughs> these past couple ones have been kind of easy. And uh, we just been getting three star for three star without even trying. And uh, it's good loot though, good loot, good trophies, um, but not a good challenge. So next raid we're gonna try for the challenge aspect and uh, see how that does and where that gets us. But yeah, so 97%, only a couple more buildings left. And uh, actually, it's, it's all up to this gold storage. Can he defend? Will he win gold storage versus entire R? Okay, that's that's it. That's three star right there, 100%. Um, another awesome raid, a lot of trophies, a lot of loot. Uh, that's what I like about the gold league and the crystal league. And these lower leagues are just like a lot to grab. A lot of free stuff and that, yeah, so three stars everywhere. All right, so for this raid, we wanted a little bit more challenge. So what's more challenging than the first search challenge, which is basically we're going to hit attack, find a match, and then the first place we find we're attacking. And we're going to go in on, and it's this base. Okay, we got kind of lucky. This wasn't, that definitely isn't too hard of a base. Uh, he does have both his Inferno Towers. He's got his heroes. Oh, his queen is down. Nope, she's up. She's hiding by the Dark Elixir, you bitch. So now we have to take this guy out, and let's see. We're going to funnel. Got to keep the funnels going because that's why we're winning. And then let's do it this way. One, two, three there, and then one, two, three there. So we'll let those Valkyries do their thing. Let's get the king, queen in right there. Let's get the rest of the Valkyries going in. Let's get the bowlers going in. I'm going to get one jump spell right there because... Uh, those Valks and the King can break through that wall. Let's get the Warden in. Awesome. All right, let's do this. Let's use the Warden special ability right now because the, uh, Valkyries are within the range of it. Then a Rage Spell down in the middle of the base. And we do have two, wait, what? We have two jump spells. Oh, I fucking, I trained one too many jump spells. So that's okay. That means that we can just jump around even more. So let's do jump spells everywhere. And then let's use the King's ability because I, that was super unneeded because he is totally fine right now. But let's do a heal spell right there. Uh, heal up the king's barbarians and all those little guys and then we still have the healers going crazy and uh, I still have the queen with their special ability I'll drop this skeleton spell over there so we I should have dropped it no no we got some bullers down here okay we got the skeleton spell working on the town hall and then everything else is just cleaning up the rest of this base let's use the queen's ability give her some health back oh shit come on fine what every time I use a hero's ability there's a giant bomb to shit on me well Giant Bomb is going to end that, uh, unfortunately. And then now it's just clean up from here. We got a bunch of bowlers down here. Uh, I wish the healers would come and heal my heal my, heal my queen. You're healing. Oh, he, he is healing my queen. Okay, my bad, my bad. So the queen's getting healed up. And then uh, all that stuff is a town hall. We get the heroes on it, all the heroes on it, and a bunch of other troops. And then 99% one star turning into a boom. Three stars. So that was... The uh, one search challenge, that was a lot less challenging than I thought it would be, and then I hoped it would be, but whatever. That was the first search challenge, and then uh, yet another three star. Wow, okay, now this is why I like the Crystal League. There is a ton of loot in this base, over 800k, and uh, it's just, it's sitting. I could, I could loot this base with five archers. That's how awesome this is, but we're not going to do that. We're going to annihilate this guy and answer today's common question of the day, which we're going to read first and then attack and answer at the same time. And do a poor job of both. And the question is from Master of Luigi. Uh, and it is, when you expand your channel, will you, st or will you still play Clash of Clans and Clash Royale? I know I've, I've answered a lot of common questions of the day um, regarding me basically just expanding my channel past just Clash of Clans and Clash Royale. And I said that, you know, once I move, um, I'm going to do that and it's going to be awesome. And uh, I have some news. I will actually be moving. I'm planning on moving a month earlier than I was initially going to do. I was going to move like mid-September, um, but I'm thinking of moving in August now. I'm like kind of mid to early August, and I'm moving to Los Angeles, by the way. Um, getting my own space down there, and then uploading and editing from there. And once I move down to LA, 
I'll be able to sit down, make a ton more videos. I can make different videos on different games and all that kind of stuff. Diversify the channel. Three star bitches left and right, like this guy right here. That raid was about a minute long, and I'm still trying to answer the. Look, it was a minute long raid, and we got over 800k in loot and 28 trophies. That's why Crystal League is awesome. But um, I'm gonna still play Clash Clans, still play Clash Royale, and uh, I'll make this move. No, I have to wait to diversify my channel until I move because I'm traveling too much this summer. Um, to be able to do other games, but yeah, so in uh, August, once I move, which is like, what, next month? Um, June, July, uh, August, next month, I'll be moving next month, um, and that's when I hope to be diversifying my channel, and I'll be, you know, more vlogs, uh, different games, all that kind of stuff to the channel, it'll be fun, and that's all happening, like, next month, and yes, I will say, still play Clash of Clans and Clash Royale, they're my two main games, I can't drop them, I can't just leave them, I'll just say, fuck those games, right, like, they, they're my beginning, I can't abandon them, but yeah, that was today's common question of the day and today's video. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a like. We are on the roll up to 5,000. We're at 2150, and I'll probably do some off-screen attacking. Uh, just kind of speed up this process. But yeah, guys, that was the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.